Hey guys, I'm out here on a beautiful summer day. Um, I couldn't sit inside. It was way too nice. So I had a bunch of stuff to do. I banged it out early in the morning and here it is uh, mid-afternoon. I'm going to head out on a little day hike down this local trail. Um, what I have with me is my $20 survival kit challenge items. You know, the items in there were clearance for a reason and I want to find out why. So I'm going to come out here and try them. Um, I think one of the first things I'm going to do is I'm going to put on one of those band-aids and see if it lasts the whole hike because those are usually the first things that are really terrible in a discounted survival kit. All right, let's do it. Well, the first thing I'm taking notice of is, um, <clears throat> you know, I don't have a hatchet and I probably can't baton with this little uh, folding knife that I have. Um, so I'm keeping an eye out. There's tons of uh, down deadwood standing and on the ground. Uh, it's pretty dry because it's uh, midsummer, but um, that's another thing I have to take into account that I'm not going to be able to uh, knock down trees and saw them and stuff like that. I'm very limited. Well, first thing I said was I'm going to uh, try out those band-aids. Now that'll be the true test. If this uh, first aid kit is what it's cracked up to be then this band-aid should stick the entire fire making process yeah wood sorrel if you haven't watched my gardening video this is what I have in there I always like to smell it first make sure the animals aren't peeing on it mmm So it's like an abandoned apple orchard. Of course, there's no uh, fruit, but good to know that this is here. Well, you guys can see the deer down there, right on the path. There he goes. I will say this about apple orchards. You gotta be really careful when you uh, venture into them and you know, brushing up against the trees and stuff you could easily pick up a deer tick. I'm not sure if you guys see these broad leaves. This is like wild grapes. Um, they usually don't yield much fruit because they don't get tended to. Right, yeah. These little V's, uh, those are really good, and they have like a, almost like a, I don't know what it is, like a citrusy taste, you know, to them. Um, not sure. Uh, and the smaller they are, of course, like a lot of stuff, the better they are. And those are really good. I know, freshens up your breath, I guess, a little bit. That or I've been drinking coffee. So I found this little clearing. Uh, I'm just gonna make like a little makeshift fire kit and at least start out by trying to make a fire with that, uh, that small fire starter. Well, let's start out by opening up this bad boy. Oh wait, I need a knife to get it open. Woo, and it's sharp. First things first. bracelet must be made for a small child because it's definitely a keychain not a bracelet this thing won't even go around my wrist it's like OJ Simpson right now maybe if I was a girl that would clip but 
as you can see it doesn't even come close so it's definitely not a bracelet it's definitely something you just kind of hook on to yourself well north is definitely the way it's pointing Let's see if I spin it around yep north is that way well I won't hate on the compass um, it looks to at least be able to find north so that's a good start Try and get a fire going. The first thing you need to do is get the black stuff. There's like a coating on here. See that side silverish now? Um, that black coating's on there for, like, I guess, protecting it. Once you get it off, you can make sparks. So, I know the first one of these I had before I started bushcrafting. I got it in the mail free. I started scraping it. There was no sparks. Piece of junk and I threw it away. Don't be a noob. Scrape off the black shit. barely getting any sparks. I think I'm going to go on a little journey see if I can find some birch bark because that thing sucks. But the band-aid's holding up so far. Not dressed the best for this because um, so much poison ivy man and I get it like gangbusters so to venture in the woods today with shorts on is a bad idea so um, however I did just pick up some really really duff, dusty leaves like really really powdery so maybe I can Man, it sucks. I'm ready to break off these just so I can get a good strike off because they're kind of in the way and I can't seem to get a good uh, strike. Looks a little bit better now. It's days of clipping are over but again this is the 11th hour and I'm starving to death and I'm freezing and hypothermia is setting in. I gotta get this fire going. Man, I'm sweating so much the bugs are eating me alive. It's your sweat that attracts the frickin' mosquitoes. Man, the whole time I'm trying to do it, all I hear is buzzing in my ear. Well, the compass works. The whistle works. Uh... This makes a spark, but good lord, I'm not making one out here. It'd be nice if there was a pine tree with some sap, maybe. But I'm going to gather up my stuff, look around, see if I can pull this off before I get out of here. It looks like for me, my most important survival item is probably long pants. It's like keeping me from lighting this fire because you know a breakout of poison ivy for me is almost life-threatening you know. I'm one of those people that 
I just don't get it in a couple of spots. I get it like all over my body. And then I gotta go to the doctor and I gotta go on an antibiotic and it's torture. So, I mean, seriously, I'm long pants away from kicking ass right now, but see, you're gonna have all these gadgets you want. You throw your knives in the air, it ain't gonna protect my legs. And, you know, if it's a survival situation, the hospital's not gonna be open waiting for me to come in for, uh, you know, some pregnizone or whatever. So, that'll learn you. Long pants. I'm thinking about doing an experiment. If I at least take this branch from this, I believe it's a spruce tree. Oh man, I might have just touched all that poison ivy. Shit. Alright, well that's staying. Total buzzkill. I feel like I need to go home and shower. Um, I took a shower and the band-aid is totally fine. Um, this little ferro rod sucks, man. It's too short and I can't get enough real estate to get a good shower of sparks. I've actually got a big pile of birch dust, birch bark dust, and I've got that stuff to light 100% of the time. Now I'm 99 because of this. This thing is just, I'm going to put it in the for the birds. Um, I won't ever rely on this. And I won't ever put it in one of my survival kits other than maybe, say, the compass or the whistle. If uh, somebody wants to link a video maybe in the comments below on somebody who's actually got a fire started with one of these, I'd like to see it. Because, I mean, I'm no expert. I suck at this stuff. So um, that's why I'm out here trying it out. And, man, that thing was epic fail. I would have froze to death tonight if I was in a survival situation because... Nope, that was frustrating as hell. All I did was work up a sweat and attracted more bugs. Alright, so I hope you guys liked the video. Um, it was just basically to test out that $20 survival kit. And, man, I'm better off going to the dollar store and getting a lighter. Because, again, this item, I really didn't like it as far as fire starting goes. Okay, I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good one. Bye. Mm -hmm.